Oh, that was fun, wasn't it? It kind of wasn't fun, but it was kind of fun at the same time. We may have lost 2-0, which is never nice in a derby. It was a pretty easy friendly. But we also got to witness, hopefully, the birth of someone that one day could be an actual star. A Stockport lad, a proper Stockport Manchester City fan youngster who's been in the club for since he was eight years old. Phil Foden was absolutely magnificent and he was the story of the friendly. And that was just enough reason to be absolutely knackered all day at work. I went to bed at 10, got up at 3, went back to bed at 5, got up at 6 and I just got back from work now. I am... Genuinely, genuinely exhausted. I have been hammering the coffee today, but it was worth it. Even though we lost, it was still worth it just to see what the CFA could produce. It feels like Phil Foden showed to a lot of people just how good the future could be, just how good our academy is at producing young talent. But we just have to have a little faith. We just have to believe in the youngsters. And Phil showed what a lot of people who watch under 18s and the EDS regularly knows, that we are genuinely sat on a gold mine of talent. I've said it before, and a lot of people understand it. We don't believe me saying little things like, if they're so good, why don't they get played? If they're so good, why do they struggle out alone? All these kind of situations. And I will answer that very briefly. Football's complicated. Football development is complicated. The academy can only do so much. And eventually, youngsters, they reach a level uh, of ability. They're going up and up, and they reach this point. And then from that point there, when they're whatever age, 18, 19, their development hits a critical point where it depends exactly what a manager does with them or where the club goes to see if they go down or up. And it can literally go like that, or it can just kind of plow down slowly, or it can literally rock it and fall down. And that's what can happen. And that could happen to Phil Foden too. And that's what happens when you get young players who need a chance to run the cusp, but they don't get it. They just kind of hang around, lose focus, lose intensity because they're young people. And they just kind of meander into nothing. The best ever uh, metaphor I've ever seen for this is Jimi Hendrix couldn't learn to be Jimi Hendrix if he was in an Oasis covers band. He needs the expression to be able to play well. And if you go into these some of these loan clubs, which some can be good, but we're playing lesser football with lesser players, uh, less crazy people, then you don't get to be the most creative person at all times. Yes, some people can react to it well, but some can't. But as I was saying, it all comes down to a manager's decision to use them. And all these players we've got, they are talented. Phil is just the tip of the iceberg there. And I'm hoping now that he's shown some people that these players aren't crap. It's bollocks. They aren't crap. They are act actually some of the most talented young footballers in world football. And that's proven by their success at youth level. It's proven by the fact that they win under 18s leagues and they get to the finals of the competitions quickly and often and every year. They prove it every week, basically. They prove it by being pretty much the best, if not for Chelsea. Uh, so they need a chance to show it. And last night, Phil took it on himself to show just how good he could be. Sometimes a youngster can sink. Sometimes they can just put him in a, a deep end and you can see if they sink or swim. And if they sink, you go, maybe they're not quite ready yet. Sometimes they just take it like a duck to water and show that they are an absolute natural. And that's what Phil Foden did. You've seen the thumbnail for this video now where he turned her hair and left him on his ass. And that was the moment where I think Pep sat there and went, this kid is special. You just witnessed here. Uh, the birth of someone that could be a city star one day. I'm all I'm keep having these caveats because there's a long way to go, but it's nice to see. It feels like justification for all these videos, and uh, all these times you go to watch these under 18s team. You think and you believe that you're seeing someone special, and Phil, Sancho, Brahim, they've all got this talent. And the interesting for me is that Phil looks a lot more comfortable than Brahim did. I mean, that's nothing wrong with Brahim there. He didn't have much of the ball, play that wide, but some players just take to it. And you don't know that until you try them. And Phil, to me, I think Pep knew that. And I think Pep touched on the most important factor. The thing that excites me most about Phil Foden is that he is one of our own. He's a young lad from uh, Stockport. It means more for him. Sancho, we got him from Watford when he was 14. Brahim, the same thing over in Spain. Great young players, but... It isn't the same. It isn't the same at all. It honestly means more when they're local, when they've been in the club that long, because they get it. They are totally engrossed in the Manchester City way, the culture of it all, and it's just that little bit more special. It gives a lift to the Etihad when, they, when, they, when a young player comes on. It means more. There's a vibrancy around the stadium, and I think it connects more. And I've seen people on Twitter, online, on forums be excited about this young City fan coming through. It's literally like this kid is living their dream, and that's what I like about it. But anyway... 
majestic player, graceful, elegant, confident, composed, tenacious, a great energy. Uh, the way he drove forward, ran at people, turned. The, the fact that players were confident passing the ball to in tight spaces and he was pinging it back to him one two. When you see someone like De Bruyne and Yaya trust the young player and Aguero telling them that they love him afterwards and Pep saying he's special afterwards, that says it all about what the squad think of him. They like him, they know him and they trust him. We witnessed something there which I think could be very special. But let's get on to the actual game because I could wax lyrical about Phil all day. Also, we also saw the debut of Kyle Walker. How good does it feel to have a right back with pace? There were several times where he caught up to Rashford, who had left our fullbacks for dead last season, and just brushed him off with strength, knowledge, experience, and power. That feels good. He also looked good on the ball. He looked comfortable. He looked like he was slotting seamlessly, like he'd been there for years, and that feels good. Edison showed that he can save shots. He did have a head rush moment for the Lukaku goal, but I can't let him off. Right, it, it's a preseason game, his first game in a city shirt. At some point, people said maybe if the pitch wasn't as dry as a desert, a little bit less arid. The ball would have rolled right through to him, would have cleared it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not, it was a mistake. Let's not pretend it wasn't a mistake. But he showed some great shot stopping ability. At least he's saving his shots from like Bravo. And he looked confident. He looked powerful. He looked like he means business so I'll give him the benefit of doubt on that one elsewhere Apache Roberts Brahim they didn't quite get into it but I would argue saying neither of the wingers did really none of them really did I thought Sterling was alright Sandy a bit quiet when he came on I don't think it was really a game for wingers we didn't really have the uh, people like David Silva or Bernardo Silva obviously there and we weren't really moving the ball particularly quickly there was a little chemistry from fullback at Mangala on one side for Endino at one point. Um, and in general, we didn't have the kind of occasion or the intelligence to actually create plays for the wingers to actually get at the fullbacks one on one. So it was hard to judge him. Uh, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. Roberts looked a little bit rusty. That happens in prison sometimes. For company, it was good to see him alongside Tosin and Rabio. Both had okay games. Company looked sharp, but also made a mistake or two every now and then. Uh, but he looked powerful. He looked like the lead he was going to be. And Rabio was okay. It was a mix back it wasn't a great performance it wasn't the worst performance a couple of little mistakes a couple of bits where he looked quite comfortable I'm not going to read too much into that either it's just good to see him out there on the pitch and the gala at left back was fun I just laughed at that the big meme gala back there where he belongs I mean he looked like he was trying to play centre back at left back he looked confused I'll be honest but it was fun to see him in a city shirt even if he has gone a sod off again I actually thought Nasri looked quite good he played one ball which was absolutely exquisite the outside his boot onto Gabriel Jesus' foot who should have buried that but that pass was sublime it always worth remembering how good Nasri can actually be it's a shame it's not quite right there for Nasri because he is a wonderfully gifted footballer and Foden actually has a bit of that ability to turn and run at people that Nasri once shown a couple of years back um, but it's not going to work out for Nasri I think that's pretty much obvious but you do wonder sometimes if only he had a little bit of time with Pep to show how good he could have been then maybe we could have seen something special from Nasri but that obviously isn't going to happen obviously he's out of favour now a lot kind of stuff and we just don't need him we've got Bernardo Silva we've got Foden who hopefully hopefully could be involved every now and then with the squad this season. On to Foden briefly again. I'm pretty certain he can just stay with the EDS this season, by the way. He's not even played a single EDS game, so for me, don't send him out alone. Have him with EDS, get him trained with the first team. But yeah, the game itself, United won it, fair play, they probably deserved it. We were a little bit rusty. They like a team that played three games. It was a good experience for the youngsters out there. A raucous crowd. Uh, fair play to the American fans who went over there from both sides. Uh, they were loud, they were noisy. It was a good preseason warm up for us. Wrong result, but that happens. We looked rusty, and there's plenty more to come. I enjoyed it. I'm absolutely exhausted, but I just felt honoured to witness an experience what it feels like to see a young lad potentially come through and just show us what football actually means to us all because that's the best thing about football you can fuck off your 100 million pound transfers and all that kind of stuff i would give it uh, 20 appearances for phil Foden, even 10 appearances for phil Foden this season for an assigning of alexis sanchez that's just my personal opinion i find that more fun i find it more interesting i find it more in the spirit of football than all this gross money being thrown around but that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm an old-fashioned cynic. Just see what you want of that. But anyway, what did you make of the game? I'm looking forward to Real Madrid and the Spurs game now because it's what I see. Phil get another game. Maybe some Brahim, whatever. The rest of the new lads as well. It'll be fun. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.